This book page ornament is a fun snowman. He's die cut, and I think he'll be fun for us to make together. So let's get started. So for this ornament, I die cut a snowman out of the book page and also die cut one out of a piece of cardstock to give it a little bit of body, literally. Also in your package, you got a scrap of black cardstock, a scrap of red, and a scrap of orange, along with some punched black circles that we'll use for eyes and buttons. So to get started, we're gonna take a look at our snowman and see whether one side or the other has more print on it. If you have something like this, where there's a big white gap, you don't want to use that side. So it looks like actually either side of this one would work. But you take a look at the punched page that you have and decide which one is going to be your snowman's front. Then once you decide, set it down. You're going to need your glue stick. And I recommend since we're doing edge to edge kind of things, using your plastic bag that you got your materials in to protect your table. Or you could use a table cover or a placemat or something, but I'm going to use my bag since that's what I have. And I'm going to put glue around the whole outside edge. And then as soon as I've done that, I'm going to line up the hat and the rest of it should just fall right into place so that I've layered my brown cardstock onto the back of the die cut book page. And if you find that he's the book page is loose anywhere along the line, you can just quickly go in and add some. Or if you have too much glue like I do, you can scrape it off. This is the kind that changes color once it dries, but I just assume not have it being purple. So then the next thing I want to do is give him a hat. Taking the black scrap paper, if you notice that there is kind of a straight line across his head where the hat is. So if I put some glue right across the top of him from his hat all the way up to that punched hole, I can now take my black cardstock and lay it right on that line can show you probably better from the back. Line it up. I like working with glue sticks because if you don't have things exactly how you want them right at first, you still have a little bit of time to maneuver them. So there it is, so that the bottom of that black cardstock matches exactly to the bottom of his hat. And then I can just take my scissors and trim around it from the back side. So I'll do up from the edge for the brim. And you can actually cut it a little bit bigger if you wanted to. And then I'm going to just cut around the top of the hat. Like that. And then I'll trim down from the top of the hat to where that brim came in. It should pop right off. Cut right into the edge. Like that. And then I'll do the same with the other side down from the top till it meets the brim and then cut over and pop off that piece. So that's how it looks from the back and from the front he's got his hat. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on one of those black dots and I gave you extras because sometimes they just disappear. So I'm just going to put a little there Put one on for his eye, like that. Then I'll put a little bit of glue on another one. Put it on for his other eye. So there are his eyes. Now there's a scrap of orange in there. If you would like to give him a carrot nose, you can. I found that there wasn't a whole lot of space and he looked just as good without a nose. But if you like your snowmen with carrot noses, go right ahead. You cut a little triangle out of the orange scrap and glue it on. 
Then you've got your red scrap, and that's gonna be his scarf. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is cut straight down the middle. This is about a half inch wide. So I'm gonna have two pieces then that are going to be a quarter of an inch wide. And that's gonna be his scarf. So I'll take a little bit of the glue. I'm only gonna put it on half because some of it's gonna stick off. And I'm gonna turn this around so you can see. So I'm going to put his scarf like that. So there's one part of it. And then I'll put some glue on half of the other piece. And just have that go down like that. And then I'm going to trim it just a little bit because that seems long to me. So there's his scarf. And then all he needs to be finished up are the buttons to go down his belly. I'm gonna give him three. But you can put on as many as you want, because you have some extras. So we'll stick one there. And I find it easier to put a little bit of the glue on the dot itself rather than putting some on his belly because I would wind up with too much. But if that's easier for you to do, go right ahead. Put it right on him. And there he is. Now I think he would also make a very nice uh, package tag to go on a gift. But if you're going to hang him on an, and your tree as an ornament, you're going to want to punch through that hole that was on the back side. I couldn't do that before you had made the hat. So if you have a hole punch, you can use that. If you don't, you can just use a, a pin or a tack to punch a hole through, and then you can thread your string through. Or hang your hook. Not in the other end. Trim that off. And there he is. A happy snowman made out of a book page. <laughs>